that most people in the world who enjoy strawberry shortcake have never even actually had strawberry shortcake. It's a wild guess, but I'm basing it on what I see in grocery stores that in the produce sections of many grocery stores during strawberry season, right next to the strawberries, you usually find angel food cake or some kind of light fluffy sweet cake that clearly is supposed to pass as shortcake. And while I'm sure that throwing strawberries, crushed sweetened strawberries on top of that stuff makes for a delicious dessert, do yourself a favor and try real strawberry shortcake sometime. I've started with some amount of butter. So let's call that five tablespoons. And I'm gonna melt that in the microwave oven. I get about six small to medium sized shortcakes from two and a half to three cups of flour. Half a cup of flour per shortcake. So that was almost three cups. You need some baking powder to make them fluffy. I imagine about a tablespoon, maybe two teaspoons, then a sprinkle of salt. The salt is totally unnecessary. And I like to mix the flour, salt, and baking powder together. And then it really doesn't matter how you do this. You could just pour all the melted butter in I pour in a little splash and stir it around, and then a little splash and stir it around, and a little splash and stir it around. And I'll end up making little balls of uh, flour and butter stuck together. And finally, milk. And again, I really don't know how much milk I use. That looked like about a half a cup. It wasn't quite enough. I want to make a fairly dry mixture. If it gets a little wet, it doesn't matter. It just gives a slightly different texture to the shortcakes. I just want to get the moisture absorbed into it. But it's sticking together very nicely. That's shortcake dough. Just going to use a, a wide pastry brush and I'm getting the uh, melted butter that's still in the bowl that I melted it in. I'm just uh, mopping it up with the brush and spreading it around on the pan. I set the oven to about 375. Then to make a shortcake, just pick up enough dough to make a, a little ball. If you play squash, it's just the size of a squash ball, or a handball, or a racquetball. So I've made it into a ball and I'm flattening it out, kind of gathering the edges. You notice that there's a, a lot of texture in it, the different colors, different uh, moisture content in different pieces of the dough. That's going to be a substantial shortcake. crucial component of strawberry shortcake is strawberries. A nice rinse. I usually fill a bowl, uh, splash them around a bit and pour off water. And then fill the bowl again. 
I was a kid, every strawberry came with a little core of hard material directly behind the cap. So I learned to cut a cone shape out, and actually this one looks like it has it too, and lift the cap out and that hard material comes with it. And uh, if there's any spots on a strawberry, just cut those off. I found strawberries today usually don't have a hard cone of material down the center like the, they used to. If I'm going to make shortcake when I'm preparing the strawberries, I try to pick one per shortcake with a large, ripe, unblemished berry. So I just set a couple aside that I'll use a bit later. I put the strawberries back in this uh, bowl that I had them in when I was cleaning them. And I'm just going to go at them with a potato masher. To finish off the strawberries, some amount of sugar. How much really depends on your taste. For two quarts of strawberries, someplace around a half a cup of sugar, and just mix it through. The final ingredient to shortcake varies depending on where you were brought up. I grew up eating shortcake with milk poured on it. I also like it with vanilla ice cream. But uh, I've gotten especially fond of strawberry shortcake with whipped cream. That's a cup of whipping cream. to add about two tablespoons of sugar. And beat it just a little bit more. I want to cut the shortcake in half and it'll crumble and so what. It's still warm. Just cover that bottom section with strawberries, put the lid on it, add some more strawberries on top, add a generous dollop of whipped cream, a beautiful strawberry, and of course a spoon 